Welcome to the WVPE Channel 4 News. My name is Tatiana Korg and I'm a news anchor. Today is Tuesday, October 10th, 2023. First and foremost, let's take a moment to honor this wonderful country of ours and please stand for the pledge, led by my co-anchor, Craig Monahan. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. Now we will have a moment of silence to reflect on having a great Panther Day. Today's school lunch is cheese or pepperoni pizza. Be sure to bring your best friends to the cafeteria and be sure to pick up after yourselves. The character trait of the month is anti-bully. This means to be an upstander. Being an upstander shows that you care about others. This means not just standing by when there is an issue. Take a stand, tell a teacher, say something, or help a friend. Remember that October is anti-bully month and we will prepare for Unity Day. Are you an anti-bully? We hope you are at school, at home, and in the community. Just a reminder, tomorrow is not an early release day. Remember, the number one school rule is keep your hands and feet to yourselves. Please treat others with respect and they'll do the same for you. It doesn't cost everybody to be kind, so let's use the manners and do something nice for someone today. Have a great day of learning. Be sure to spend some time reading each and every day. Just 20 minutes a day and you can become a better reader in no time. Remember, readers are leaders. Have a terrific Tuesday and we'll see you tomorrow. Now stay tuned for Mrs. Smith with some school announcements. Hello, hello, hello. I hope everyone's doing well. I wanted to start by thanking you uh, for all the wonderful pictures and drawings and notes I get in my mailbox are so amazing and I'm working on thanking each of you individually because there's just too many to bring on the news anymore. Um, I also wanted to thank everyone for the toilet paper collection. It was phenomenal. Give yourself a hand. I am proud to announce, drum roll, Volusia Pines collected over a thousand rolls of toilet paper for the Jewish Federation. My office is literally filled and you know if you see my office that is a, you know a big deal because there's already a lot of stuff in there. Uh, but this is a good problem to have so let's break down how the classes did. In kindergarten Asma's class had 70. Good job you were in fifth place. Good job. Mrs. Goodwin's class had 186. Wow that's to be hard to beat. Um, Martin had 21 and Dennis had 9. In first grade, Stanger had 62, which is awesome. And Stevens had 122, taking second place. <laughs> Presley had 34 and Patterson with 9. Uh, second grade, Bush had 4, Miller 18, and Visconti with 42. Good job. Third grade, Alvarez had 54. Way to go. Kelly, 47. Yay, you. Deco had 112, putting her in third place. <laughs> York with 14, Hunt with 52, great job. Fourth grade Richardson had eight, Bull had 28. Fifth grade Conrad had seven, Hannah 11, Nada 36, and Sarmiento had 83, putting her in fourth place. So if you listen to all that, then you probably know Mrs. Goodwin's class was unstoppable and they take the win with 186 rolls. That means that Mrs. Goodwin's class, along with our leadership club, will get to go out and um, give those donations to the Jewish Federation tomorrow. They'll get a picture for the yearbook and they will get Dunkin' Donuts. I also want to thank Miss Stevens' class for being the runners up and displaying all that toilet paper in the window. I think it was a good reminder for everyone to bring that toilet paper in. So thank you so much. And before I go, I wanted to remind you that next Wednesday, the 18th, is Unity Day. You know that's the day we wear orange from head to toe. So please start breaking out that orange, finding what you're going to wear. Are you going to be the most orange boy? Are you going to be the most orange girl? 
orange teacher or orange class, there are prizes for all because when we stand united, no one stands alone. Have a good one.